Lord, we give you praise. In the mighty name of Jesus. Baby, be our Mr. Se, Yen Nayan Kayakuma, and Mumu, Niamo Empire, Nian T, Unyamia Sama, and Ne Awa Emine. Yada was say, Yahinin Cassia, and then so I had a full fra, Ura, our power, Amine. Yada was say, Say what the young quan are chaying. Yadi and Nankayan, Sir Emphat, and then so what domino and you mobro hunun tea. Ora ya da so etia se e da so e won kwamu ya bon pa ye esra se sabre yi e pre aso se ora ye betie wasem ma wasem na nto akoma paso ma wasem na nso aba bebre e wo ye mu ma wasem no nya ye hu adwuma ye mpa ye ne se wasem no e de sakra ye bi e bebre yen o e ma ye nya sem no etie fo keke na mu ma ye nya sem no e ye fo Yada wasi, yada wasi, yada wasi. Ura sawa yenu sa amaya in. Ewa Yesu Christo diimu. Amen. I share with you a message on the theme. The hand of the Lord. The hand of the Lord. The hand of the Lord. And I would read from First Chronicles, the chapter 4 and the verse 10. First Chronicles 4.10 I read, Jabez called upon the God of Israel saying, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my border and that your right hand be with me and that you would keep me from harm so that it might not bring me pain. And God granted what he wanted. And God granted what he wanted. There is a phrase in this particular verse which I read. And it says that, that your hand, that your hand might be with me. That your hand might be with me. That your hand might be with me. So I preach to you on the theme, the hand of God. In fact, when you go through scripture, this particular phrase, the hand of God, it is a very common phrase that we can find throughout scripture. the hand of God. We come across this particular phrase. And tonight I want us to reflect on this theme. I want us to reflect on this phrase, the hand of God. In 1 Chronicles chapter 4, the verse 10. Scripture talks of a man by name Jabez. And if you paid attention to the text that was read to us not too long ago, Jabez presented four requests unto God. The first request was that God, that you would bless me. That you would enlarge my border. The third thing that he said was that, that your hand might be with me. And the fourth one is that, that you would keep me from harm. So you realize that out of these four requests that Jabez put before God, there is one that he is calling on God, that he would want to see the hand of God operating in his life. So he says that among all these things that I'm asking from you, God, there is one thing that I also desire, and that thing is that I want to see your hand operating in my life. And that is why I want us to reflect on this theme, the hand of God, the hand of the Lord. The hand of the Lord. In fact, when you read Hebrews, Luke chapter 23, the verse 46. When Jesus was on the cross, he prayed a prayer and he, and he said, Father, into your hands, I commit my spirit. Into your hands, I commit my spirit. And so when you read through, throughout the Bible, or when you read scripture, there are so many places you come across this phrase. The hand of the Lord. The hand of the Lord. And, is, and it is important that tonight we would reflect 
on this team or on this phrase that has been given to us. Samenumienu ya bete sa semye ase. Ayatuti, the hand of the Lord. Then you must begin to reflect on your own hands. Niyame kane sa semye bete onyanko po en sa. Eye juma ewa minumienu ya braboma. Enye sa siya sha siya se. Ye jenjini yanka sa yen sa ho. Onipada sa ni biara on sa. Eye bribia esombo ma ho. On sano, a ye bribi a son moma. In fact, a quack quayase, bribi biara minumi and you bet to me a year, oh, yes, no, we need to do it with our hands. So our hands play a very critical role in our day to day activities. And when to see a bet you and Yanko Ponsa, a year, Juma, a minumi and ye are sitting there with ya, then you must reflect on your own hands. And your man would want one sa a to me a year at the boil. But tonight, we are not talking about your hands. We are talking about a bigger hand. We are talking about a mighty hand. We are talking about a powerful hand. And that hand is the hand of God Almighty. The first thing that I want to draw your attention to. Anytime we talk of the hand of the Lord. We are talking of the hand that brings deliverance. Or the hand that brings rescue. So the hand of the Lord is the hand of deliverance or rescue. The hand of the Lord. It is a hand of deliverance and rescue. Baby Onyango po ensa se eda edi ewo nipa asitnemu eye bre onyango po manfo eye Israel foro akot na Egypt mine so Bible say the Israelites served in Egypt for 400 years as slaves but at point in time they cried unto God and they called on God for deliverance. And until we can the throne of me, chapter 26, verse 8, this is what God says. And the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm with great deeds of terror, with signs and wonders. Abra Israel conquered some for 400 years. Now we are doing one far or yabu, you are doing one far a maniamu, you are doing one far new man, not a sawan so, never one need ye and your piano. Bible said, Was I just a woe so a frass of where I day? Now on Yanko Ponde and Sir, two million who are dinny womu and all the badge won. And so when you read Deuteronomy 26, the verse 8, this is what the writer says that God delivered them. God rescued them with a mighty hand. The people of Israel were under the oppression of men. Because Pharaoh and his taxmen, Pharaoh and an impound for what the Israel for any what it were. So the first thing that we learn from this place is that the people of Israel were under the oppression of men. The second thing I want to draw your attention to is that they were also under the oppression of of the gods of Egypt. And when we read Exodus chapter 12 verse 12, Moses tells us this. And he says that, For I will pass through the land of Egypt that night. This is God speaking. And I will strike all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and on all gods of Egypt. So God is saying that that night I will pass through the land. And I'm not only going to destroy the people and animal. But I will also destroy the gods of the Egyptians. God says to you tonight. 
that he's going to deliver you. He is going to rescue you. Onyamia basa. Onyamensa edi otie enfa hudie epa no. Ene numre me pompa ye wo Yesu Christo di mo. Sa sansa no ebi ento wo so e wo Yesu di mo. Onyamensa edi fa hudie epa no. May that mighty hand of God locate you and touch you wherever you are. The hand of the Lord brings deliverance. It is able to rescue us from the power of the enemy. So you realize that from this text, the people of Israel were not being oppressed by the king Pharaoh and his followers. But they were also tormented by the powers of darkness that dwelt in the land of Egypt. For God says that that night I will also destroy their gods. I have come to speak the word of God to you. And I pray in the name of Jesus that the hand of the Lord that brings deliverance, may that hand locate you wherever you are. Onyamia basa, onyamensa, edi otienefa hudie pano. I pray in the name of Jesus that that hand will locate you. That hand will locate you. That hand will locate you. For some of us, powers of darkness have been tormenting us. For some of us, satanic altars has, uh, has been fighting against us. But I pray in the name of Jesus. Satanic altar biara and the woody is here. Satanic altar biara and kutia wiyye dieni wunsira. May the hand of God that brings deliverance fight that altar in the name of Jesus. For some of us, Demons and witches and principalities are fighting our destiny. But I pray in the name of Jesus that may the mighty hand of God that brings deliverance rescue you from the plans in the name of Jesus. Some of us, we have been enslaved by our enemies. And we cannot make progress in life. We are serving as slaves. Bible says that the Israelites were serving as slaves in the land of Egypt. But the mighty hand of the Lord rescued them. And tonight that hand will also rescue you. When you read Acts chapter 16, the verse 26, Bible talks of the man by name Paul. Bible says that that night, Paul and Silas, that night, when they began to praise God, when they began to give glory to God, Bible says that they were set free. They were set free. And when you read Acts 16, 26, this is what the scripture says. And at once, all the prison doors flew open. And everyone's chain came loose. And everyone's chain came loose. They had put Paul and Silas in that prison. You know that there were two people that had been put in prison. Together with many others. These two people praised God. These two people prayed unto God. And Bible says that there was an earthquake. And God delivered them. But God delivered these two people together with those that were in the prison. So two people praised and praised God. They prayed and they praised God. But those that were in the prison received their deliverance. For scripture says that at once all the prison doors flew open. And he says that everyone's chains came loose. I speak over your life tonight in the name of Jesus. Because of the deliverance that God is bringing to you. That deliverance will affect people that are connected to you. Now make care and say, Paul in silence. Ni pa miye nu pe. And na na waka ni pa bebre no hua. Wa bom pa ye. Na wa tron tron wana anko pa. Na so abre o nyami o tia pa ye no. God saved all the people that were in prison. With Paul and Silas. And tonight I pray in the name of Jesus. Because the hand of the Lord God Almighty, it brings deliverance. And it brings to deliverance to people that are connected to us. Because 
Oman is so irreso. Oman so and so I will force so. Oman is so on muscle. Oman is so on now for so. I will yes, so Christo demon. Oh, be Piara. Yet it can be at two a brabosso. Oh, be Piara. Yet it can be at two a brabosso. I pray in the name of Jesus. May the mighty hand of God that brings deliverance, may it break that chain in the name of Jesus. Bible says that the chains came loose. The chains and the dear beer, a dear goon, sir, and the dear beer, a dear goon, I in consul, consul beer, your dear camera, brabano, asano. I speak over your life, may it be broken, may it be broken, may it be broken. The chains of barrenness be broken, the chains of backwardness be broken, the chains of singleness be broken, the chains of poverty be broken, the chains of disease that has been placed upon your life be broken, the chains of premarital death that has been located to your family, I cancel it in the name of Jesus, and consume, consume, bearer, ya dia tu abra boso, ah, I restrict you, nama u no nyam, ya nyo nyam no, may that chain be broken, the second thing is that the hand of God is the hand of acceleration or divine speed or the anointing of speed. The atosumi anu ameka ane se onyamen sanu ayensa edimrika entente eba ye abrabumu. What kind of first Kings chapter eighteen? A brana Elijah bon paye no won a mienim no sufra safura te se and so best sign at our Israel my animal Bible said on seven occasions he sent his servant to go and check if the clouds has changed if the clouds has been formed Bible said the first time he went and he came back and said man of God I cannot see any clouds until the seventh time the servant came and said I see something in the clouds I see something in the sky it looks like the face of a man bible says that when the man of god had this news he said to the king by name here and he said unto him king i hear the abundance of rain so i am telling you you must leave and go back home bible says the king moved ahead of Ahab, moved ahead of the prophet Elijah, just to escape the downpour. But Bible said this king had taken lead of the man of God by name Elijah. Now, bre Elijah, and so yeah, now you say, or no super son. Now I confuse the Bible said the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And that is what we see from 1 Kings chapter 18, the verse 46. And the Lord, and the hand of the Lord was on Elijah. Bible said, on a mensa, on a mensa, on a mensa ba, on the four Elias. So the Bible said, on the Mirikantanta, I be saying Ahab, oh, may bomb paye wa Yesu Christo dimo. May the hand of God that brings divine speed, may the hand of God that brings acceleration, may that hand fall on you, may that hand be oppressionalized in your life in the name of Jesus. I decree. And I declare in the name of Jesus, you would not operate by natural speed. Ahab was operating by natural speed. Elijah was operating by divine speed. And that is how come Elijah, who was running on his feet, was able to overtake Ahab, who was sitting on a chariot. It is not possible for an ordinary person to outrun a horse but bible says that in this case the man of god was able to outrun the chariot or the horse why because the hand of god came upon him 
May the hand of God that brings divine speed come upon you. I say, may the hand of God that brings divine speed come upon you. For some of you, one thing that you keep saying to yourself, oh, that I have wasted life, that I have experienced wasted years. How can I recover? How can I make progress? I have come to speak speak into your life that it does not matter the number of years that has gone waste in your life god is able through his mighty hand cause you to redeem those wasted years nyameka and say if you do do o catch na say ah in your makobone wo mabra bo mo i have wasted years i speak to you because of the hand of god because of the hand of god that brings acceleration you would catch up on the western time. I am saying you would catch up on the western time. You would make progress in the name of Jesus. They may be saying to you, would you But I pray in the name of Jesus, may God release his hand that brings acceleration in your life. And when God released that hand upon you, oh, you would outrun them, you would outrun them. Ahab had started the journey way ahead of Elijah, but at the end of the day, Scripture says that Elijah overtook him. Receive that grace. I say receive that grace. Receive that grace. Any stagnation may that be broken. Stagnation bear at our brabo so may it catch fire in the name of Jesus. Stagnation bear at the ato so and untima wintimin ko anymore. May that power be broken in the name of Jesus. I speak no more delay in your life. I speak no more delay in your life. I speak no more delay in your life. You would move from one stage to the other. You will move from one level to the other. You would experience growth in your life. You would see acceleration in your life. You would see progress in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Why? Because the mighty hand of God that brings acceleration and divine speed is operating in your life. I hear Jumai wa prabo mu. In Yama Kotima wa prabo mu. You may have wasted years, but I speak the word of God unto you. Mika onyamia samacha wa nenumre. You would cover up those wasted years. You would make progress in life. You would make progress in life. Yes. We project na kem room a check. But I've come to tell you, send when you have some a call and my Israel for or see the same hands that started, the same hands will finish it. Why? Because my hand is coming upon you. That project that has been stored for years, I speak the word of God unto you. That may the hand of God that brings acceleration, may it cause you to complete that project in no time. I hear somebody saying to me, Reverend Kissing, my age is advanced. Can I even carry seed? The doctor say it is not possible, but I have come to tell you the word of God. For scripture says that whose testimony shall we believe? God is able to work miracles because his hands bring speed. Today you may be here. The fact that you are here, listen very well, the fact that you are here does not mean you cannot be there tomorrow. So I'm talking about two things here. I am talking about here and I'm talking about there. I am saying today you may be here, but it does not mean you cannot be there tomorrow. The difference between here and there is T. The difference between here and there it is T. Today you may be here, but tomorrow you may be there. The T stands for time. And the person that controls time is our God. May his hands come upon you. May his hands come upon you. And may he grant you speed in the name of Jesus. May God grant you divine speed in the name of Jesus. No more limitations. 
No more stagnations, no more limitations, no more delays in life. I cancel every delay that has been placed on your life. Obi Bira did delay tag be at all. So me tremble over Jesus Christ. The hand of God is the hand of breakthrough. The thirteen. On your mensano aye and sir, it brings breakthrough. When I talk of breakthrough, I am talking about going through an obstacle. Going through an obstacle. A room rebu a braboma, near pim, a room rebu a braboma, near quack of room quantabia, ye moon yayana yaho. But I've come to tell you when you hit the wall and you think that your help is exhausted, I want to assure you that the hand of the Lord brings breakthrough. Bible talks of the Israelites when they had to cross through the Red Sea. Scripture says that when they reached and they had to cross, the Red Sea became a barrier. The Red Sea became an obstacle. But Bible said our God who is a mighty God, who is a powerful God, Parted the Red Sea into two. God was able to cause a breakthrough. The people who were confused, who did not know what to do, who wanted to go back to Egypt. Bible says that the mighty hand of God prevailed. It worked in the lives of the Israelites. And they had their breakthrough. Wawa pim ewa abrabomu. May the mighty hand of God break through for you. May it break through for you. May it break through for you. Isaiah chapter 45, the verse 1 to 3. This is what the Lord says to his servant Cyrus. He says that I will hold you with my right hand. And I will go ahead of you. And he says that I will level every mountain. I am Mountain biara wa prabomu, emi po biara wa prabomu. I am a winti men kwa wanimno. May God level every mountain in your life. He says that I will level every mountain, and I would make every crooked path straight. Oh, yamu biwaha, kwa enam sono. Oh, it is not straight. Ati ati ya, enu ti ama ya bre awo akwentu aye tu nimo. But God says that you would not be a wandering man or a woman again. I am going. To to make every crooked path straight so that your journey would be smooth. I pray in the name of Jesus, may God Almighty, the one who carries power, may he release his hand. That hand that brings breakthrough, may it work in your life in the name of Jesus. May it work in your life in the name of Jesus. Some few years ago, I prayed for a gentleman. This gentleman for the past 10 years had a desire to travel outside. Now the the only child of the parents. No This guy had been trying years upon years. I feel better or try, but he was not successful. Listen very well. One time in my pastoral assignment of, of campus attachment this guy came and said man of god i have a problem for the past 10 years but i am not making progress Remember when they seek up, no visa contractors no my security but i don't get that visitor that that, that visa bible said it brings breakthrough. That afternoon, I prayed with this gentleman. And he fell under the unction of the Holy Spirit. Then there was a manifestation. The voice that spoke said, me, 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 nine, in in so, Listen very well. The voice, a masculine voice said, me, de, me, nine, in in so, This boy will never travel in life. And I asked that spirit, Ade inti, Ade inti na oha branti, or say, and you will be a kitano no is so. I will not let him travel. Be one in Tukwai. It's an so Tukwai, I obey the year. The boy had come to a standstill in life. No branch, I know what prim, I 
wa brabo mu ohuru ni ya onye ni esese visa contractors aye ebadi na visa no he could not do it but that afternoon when he encountered the hand of god that breaks through bible said he had that breakthrough the gentleman was able to get his visa it is not by might it is not by power it is by the spirit of god almighty that gentleman was able to get his visa why because when there is a confrontation of powers the power of god will always prevail against the power of the enemy May you receive the hand of God Almighty. Onamia Basa and the breakthrough. May it locate you wherever you are. May it locate you wherever you are. For some of us, because of the problems that we are going through, we, we are confused. But I have come to tell you that wherever you are, may the hand of God that brings breakthrough, may it locate you. And tell us why. And why? Bible a kind of man that sat at, at, at the pool. Bible, so when Jesus met him, he asked him, Man, do you want to be healed? Then the man started complaining. The man had been pressed by the issues of life such that when Jesus presented him an option so that he can be saved, he went off. And then umre, wa oha ni adi swabi ato so na wa juni ne bomu unu ni awonye wa juni ya wasa wa pim e wa prabomu no. I pray the hand of God. I pray the hand of God. I pray the hand of God. That brings breakthrough. Let it touch you in the name of Jesus. Let it touch you in the name of Jesus. I want to share with you again the last one. The last one. And would end it for tonight because this is a very loaded topic. I'm only sharing with you what the hand of God signifies. And I have talked about the hand of God that brings deliverance and rescue. That's the first one. The second thing is that it brings acceleration or divine speed. The third one is that the hand of God is a hand that brings breakthroughs. It brings breakthroughs. I will share the last one with you. The hand of God is the hand that brings supernatural supplies. It brings supernatural supplies. In the days ahead, I would continue. And I also help you to know or to learn how to invoke this hand of God in your life. So these things that have been mentioned, there are ways that we can attract the hand of God to work in our lives. And so in the coming days, join us, Redemption Congregation, and I will explain these things to you. I will help you to know how to invoke the hand of God in your life. The last thing I'm sharing with you is that the hand of God is the hand of supernatural supplies. On your main that same hand and a providing for the Israelites for 40 years. The Israelites experienced 40 years of unstoppable supply. Why? Because the hand of the Lord was with them. For 40 years. God provided them with meat and manna. For 40 years, their day-to-day -day needs were met by God. I have come to speak the word of God in your life. And I declare in the name of Jesus, Onyamia Basa, a this supernatural supply, a this supernatural provision, may that hand of the Lord locate you. May that hand of the Lord locate you.
And that is why David is able to pray that because the Lord is my shepherd, I would not want. And because of his mighty hand, he is going to lead me to greener pastures. The psalmist says in Psalm 37, the verse 25, he says that I have been young. I have been young. And now I am old. Yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed beg for bread. I speak this word over your life as a prophetic word from the Lord God Almighty. And I declare in the name of Jesus, because of the hand of the Lord that is working in your life, you would not beg for bread. I say you would not beg for bread. I say you will not beg for bread. Your descendant will not beg for bread. Oh, what's if we're answered? You would not be a pauper. When you be a whole abbot, so would be a God is going to provide for you. God is going to provide for you. God is going to provide for you. A brand new memoir day. I need pain in a suit. I speak the word of God to you and I say God will provide for you because he is your shepherd. His mighty hand works in your life and you would not lack anything. May you experience the supernatural supply of God in your life. Even within this period of the COVID. Because his hand is working in our lives. I speak over your life. That the COVID will not affect your business. I said the COVID, it will not affect your business. I said it will not affect your finances. I am saying it will not affect your finances. God will provide for you even in difficult times. When you look at the patriarchs, like Abraham, there were periods that they were farming, but God took him through. When you study the life of Isaac, there was a period of famine, but God took him through. When you look at Jacob, he also encountered famine at some point in time, but God provided for him. I speak the timeless word of God, that God who is our supplier, may he supply for, may he provide supply for you. May he supply your needs. May he supply your needs. David says that, oh, I have been young, and now I am old. And I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed beg for bread. Your seed will not beg for bread. When I'm young now, now when I'm young, and then I invoke the hand of God in your life. I invoke the hand of God in your life. May the hand of God bring you deliverance. May the hand of God bring you divine speed and acceleration. May the hand of God bring you supernatural supplies. Obi biara wo wadne o sabo pima wa bra bo munti me nko wanim no. May this same hand of God bring you breakthrough. In the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight is just a part 1. Another time that we would meet, we'll look at the other things that the hand of God signifies. And we'll look at ways of invoking this hand in our lives. Amen. Na uni a bomu as soon as a full radi, Unamun Sanonia or Cassia, then Sano and Cosunia, a juma, our brabum. Tonight and the days ahead, let this be our prayer. God, let your hand work in my life. Say you in your many power. Friday will be coming to you live with our hot prayers, with our hot prayers. Join us on Friday as we pray, as we travel. Bible says that when Zion traveled, she brought forth. Niam no me on yabba home pie no. When ya mena mon pie so what the yeah e be sad ye what the ebe brain. Nyame Aduma Kwesiada would also be ministering to you live virtually. Would have a virtual service. 
Redemption congregation. Yeah, best set. I sorry, I said I make a physical service, physical meeting. I say on 28, 28, the last Sunday of this month. And until next week, we'll still be streaming live. And until we're encouraging you, come online and let us worship together. Amen. What's some abba? What's some that if I would be any or jeer ever? What's some that money park con kind of our brabum? What's some that did breakthroughs ever? What's some that did divine provision ever? Or be beer up what two was some and then re. No, how be a man near be done so? Nere a ho, a can on quank our can and no way free at ya so for asa se so obi wo ha bi bi che no se onko se no ho akonfo obi wo ha ne bota e kra ne se ade empon ka enchi ne biem onfri 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 wi ase enko but lord we are praying for all these people those that are in pain those that are crying for your help lord let your mighty hand move in your lives de wa pim wa brabom no se mi de mi wuno ne amenye there was to baha ewa abrabomu. Nande ni dene ni otu enyuma ya kane se. Ora bebi adimi besi biara ma pene sonu. Esa nsa wa pemono. Ya bompa yesra se. Ma won sano. Ma won sano. Ma won sano. Wa won sa tu mini ya wadini womono. Enya won ma won sentre ni. Yada wa se. Se wa eno sa amaye. Ewa Yesu Christo di imu. Amen. We love you. God willing, on Friday, we'll see you. Bye-bye.